What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at a real SQL data scientist or data analyst technical interview question hosted on startersrush.com. Let's get into it. Now this question is marked as medium and has been company tagged for Zillow. It is called cities with the most expensive homes. Our task is to write a query that identifies cities with higher than average home prices when compared to the national average. I'll put the city names. We only have one table called Zillow transactions which contains an ID for that transaction, a state, city, street address, and market price. Now this platform allows you to look at example data and run our code against test cases to check if it's correct. You can also preview example data of that table and it seems like every entry in here is a listing of home prices. I don't know if these are transactions but the table is called Zillow Transactions, so it probably is. Let's think about how we're gonna come up with a solution for this one. Our task is to write a query that identifies cities with higher than average home prices when compared to the national average. We should just output the city names. Expected output is just the field city, which we have in there. Our filter is basically that their market price of these cities should be higher than the average home prices when compared to the national average. So let's get the national average of market price for homes on Zillow. So let's select average market price from Zillow transactions. It seems like these are only US listings so this should be the national average. We don't have any field called country in there and I think that Zillow is a US only platform. Anyways, we have that average market price for the entire nation. Now we want to select cities with a higher than average home price. So let's park that query somewhere down here, put it into brackets to make it a subquery that we can use in our main query. And that will be our filter pretty much. So we want our average home price in that city to be larger than this national average. So we're going to select city since that's what we're going to output as we can see in our expected output from that table called Zillow transactions. And if we group by city as well, we can get the average per city, right? So let's put that out here as well just to visualize it. Average market price again from Zillow transactions. And if we group by city, we should get an average per city and not the nationwide average. So I'm going to copy and delete this subcrate to be able to run just that. And let's see what it gives us. Select city average market price from Zillow transactions. Have a small typo in here, but that should give us a field city and that average. Okay. Now we have averages in there. We just need to, we would compare this average value to the national average, which we just have. But how do we do that in SQL? Well, if we use group by and want to filter on an aggregate function, being that average, average is an aggregate function in SQL. We can't use where since where comes before that um, aggregate function. So if you used where somewhere in here, it would influence what comes or what is used by that average in aggregation. So we're gonna have to use having in here to be able to filter on that aggregate function. So let's remove that from our select query and put it into our having clause. So this average market price, that is just the second field in there, should be greater than the national average. And the national average is in this subquery, as I said. So this is gonna filter our cities to these that have an average market price of homes that is higher than the national average in here. So if we run that code, it gives us Mountain View, Santa Clara and San Francisco, which is exactly our expected output. So let's check 
if that is the correct solution. It is. We can also check hints on this platform which tell you to use a having clause to compare these averages and there's also not an ordering but that is not in the test cases and in the problem statement. So we don't need to order here, we could order by, by city name but yeah, that's not necessary. If you want to check out that platform, stratusrush.com, I actually partnered up with them. It's a data science focused platform with over 500 technical and over 400 non-technical questions. So you can study for your interviews, both technical rounds and stats or product questions. You can run your code on there. You have video solutions similar to this one on many questions. You have filters for active interview questions that are currently in rotation at specific companies, you have a filter for easy problems that you can solve quickly in under three minutes just to warm up and you can also get the lifetime subscription currently for the price of a yearly lead code membership. So it's great value. You can get a further discount if you have a university email address and there's also a five-day money-back guarantee. So there's no reason not to check it out. I'll have a link down below and if you hit that link you'll also support the channel and apart from that I'll see you all in another video. Bye.